So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. A moment of great pride, the anthems. we have suggests it's going to be a 4-5-1 formation, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this team. So off we go then. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Kaylor Navas. He could make all the difference because he's such an excellent shot stopper. It's not just a matter of reflexes though, it's the way he spreads his body in front of the ball, preventing strikers from getting a sight at goal. He also hardly ever makes an error, and that's precious for a goalkeeper. OK, interesting. Brian Ruiz. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Marco Verratti. I have to say, I think a cautious start from both teams. Gets himself into trouble and he's lost it. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Marco Verratti. Has he picked him out? Taylor Navas deals with it effortlessly. No effort's unacceptable if levels of enthusiasm and energy are good, and they're not. Jorginho tries to clear. And it's Ruiz. Brian Ruiz. And here's... It's Campbell! And here's Oviedo. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And here's Immobile, he's got away. Forward it goes. Now it's Campbell. Florenzi with the cross, tries his luck, 
Worth a try. Shame about the outcome. Immobile certainly showed brilliant imagination there to take on such a high tower of skill. Hoists it forward. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Marco Verratti. And it's Florenzi. Florenzi switches it towards the other side. wrestled off the ball and that'll be the last act of the first half so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means what's the first half compared with your expectation well peter apart from the lack of goals i really don't think there's there's much to criticize I think they've got to keep doing what they've been doing and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net here's hoping for them so they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. If you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Brian Ruiz, it's a loose ball, goes for goal! A real chance and a real let-off. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Bonucci plays it forward. Bernadeschi. It's a promising run he's making on the right. That is terrific skill. And it's Ferrati. Jorginho. And if you did take an extended half-time break, you'll be relieved to hear that you have missed nothing. And now the breakaway. Lorenzo Insigne. Insigne is on a run down the left wing. Insigne delivers. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. And here's Immobile. He's had a shot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Lorenzo Insigne. Lorenzo Insigne cuts it out. to locate someone up front. Well, good challenge, stood up well against his man. Has he found his man? Jorginho. Bonucci tries to get it forward quickly. Marco Verratti. Florenzi. One final crack at it now. 
tries to switch the play. Plays it out to the wing. Aimed in towards the centre. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Italy showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Chiellini does well there, alert. Jorginho. Chiellini. Insigne. He's got options out wide. He's gone for a throw-in. So here comes the substitution. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. And it's Insigne. Jorginho. Played out to the right. Played back in. Florenzi. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Florenzi. Puts it into the middle. That's a case of crossing in hope. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Your reflections then, Jim. Italy may have approached.